Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have Alyssa and we're gonna do something cool. We haven't decided yet. So I've already done uh, skincare. So I'm gonna start with Lancome Tint Miracle. And if that's not how you say it, I'm so sorry. Just applying that thinly with a flat brush. <laughs> You're laughing at me. <laughs> I mispronounce it. I can't even say mispronounce. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use two different shades of NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is Ginger and Custard. I'm just mixing a little bit of each. And I'm going to brighten the center of the face just a little bit with those. Foundation's got a, a good amount of coverage already, so you don't really need a lot of this concealer. So I actually like to let foundation and concealer dry down a little bit before I use powder. And that kind of gives you time to use any like cream products, like if you're going to use a cream blush or a cream highlight, cream contour if you're into that. Uh, I think I will not do any of that yet. I'm going to use a cream highlighter, but at the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and start on that. I'm going to use this pencil from Marc Jacobs. It's called Fine Wine. I'm going to use that to create a base of color. I'm about halfway up the lid with that, and then I take a blending brush. This is a two one seven, but you can bring, you can use whatever. And I'm not using a lot of pressure either. I'm just barely. using just the ends of these bristles here. And when you're kind of mapping out your shape, don't worry too much about it being perfect, especially if you're going to blend it. But one thing to remember about these Marc Jacobs pencils is they dry really fast. I like to do one eye and then go back and do the other eye.
And then I'm actually going to use a different color pencil on the bottom called Orange Crush. In the waterline and on the lower lash line, and I'm just going to blend the bottom edge with my finger. So on top of that pencil, red pencil, make sure it's uh, Blend it as much as you can get it before you lay shadow on top of it. I'm going to use a couple of these colors, like that one, maybe that one, some of that one. Let's start with this one. It's one of those looks that you'll need to be careful about fallout. So you don't want to overload your brush, you can top it off. Or if you tend to have trouble with that, just do your eyes first and then do your foundation after. Make sure that color on the lid is nice and dense. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to take this color. You can see that. Kind of like coppery one. I'm just getting it barely any of that, and I'm going to blend just along this edge here. Actually, I'm going to grab a smaller brush. Overlapping it a little bit, but don't bring it too far into that red color. So you don't want to lose that intensity. And if you need to go back and intensify that Red again. Go ahead and do that. The thing about shimmery and pearly shadows is they actually give you more slip. So even if you're trying to do a matte look, if you use a little bit of something with a sheen, it gives you enough slip to blend easier. And then I'm going to grab that fluffy brush again. I'm just blending the very edge. And underneath the eye, I'm going to use this kind of, it's basically the same color as the Orange Crush pencil.
mascara. I'm gonna use this Ico Lash Alert. And then let's do it again. Alicia, Alicia, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa's lashes are really curly already, so I'm actually not going to curl them. I'm just going to go right ahead with the mascara. I always get mascara dots on the eyeshadow, but if that happens to you, don't worry. You just let it dry, and you can actually blend it away with a brush. Alyssa's well, got amazing eyebrows. So obviously I don't have to do a lot. I'm gonna go through them with just a little bit of Anastasia pencil, just mostly here at the end. And then clear brow gel. Just going back to blend those mascara dots. I didn't forget. And as always, if you need to clean up after the eye, Good time to do it now. I'm just gonna set the center of the face with a sheer powder. This is MAC Black Powder. Straight up front. I'm going to use a little bronzer from Marc Jacobs. This is that one. <laughs> Fantastic. some dimension but I'm not really contouring per se. I'm just going along the outside of the face and the cheekbones. See the temple. I'm gonna use a powder highlight actually. And that same brush I used for bronzer I'm just using soft and gentle from MAC. And I'm going to use a blush called Luster. You can go fairly high up on the cheek with this one because it's got a pearl in it as well. And it'll actually blend in with the warmth of the eyeshadow and the bronzer. On the lips, just make sure that lip balm is so thin. I'm gonna use this pencil from Kevin Aquam. This is just called Medium. I think it's one of their nude pencils.
come over the left and then I'm gonna do this color from Mark Jacobs, it's called Understudy. And that's the finished look. If you guys like this look and want to see more, be sure and subscribe. And if you want to see something in particular, leave a comment below. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>